Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I am going to create a gallery wall in our bedroom and I'm going to use some vintage prints and wall decor that I have thrifted over the past few weeks and years. And I have got some of them on the bed and some of them are still on the wall. I'm going to be taking the ones that are on the wall down and seeing which ones are going to work in the gallery wall. So I'm going to show you what the wall looks like before so you can see the prints that I'm going to be using and I will see which ones are going to work and which ones are not. And then I've also got some laid out here on the bed and I'll show you those as well and um, we'll see which ones make the cut. These are a few other pieces that I have thrifted, some more recently and some I've had for a while and this is a little rack that I think I'm going to hang up on the wall to hang some of my vintage purses and maybe hats or scarves or something. So I'm going to try to hang that up as well. So I'm going to lay everything out on the floor. I've got to find a space that's large enough to lay it all out on the floor and create the gallery wall. These ones look like the bearded lady, so I don't think they're gonna make the cut. These are some of the prints that I have on the wall already that I'm going to incorporate into the gallery wall. And all probably around the same era, around 1930s or 40s, I believe, but different subject matter. There is some Victorian and there is a couple religious prints. So I'm going to take them all down and lay them out and decide what is going to work and what isn't. All right, so I have my third and final attempt laid out on the floor. I have taken a photograph of each layout and I like this one the best. It has taken a lot longer than I thought it would <laughs> to get it right, but I think I got it right. It may change. So now I'm going to get some brown paper. I'm gonna lay it out on the floor and I'm gonna put each print on the paper and trace it and cut out a template so that I can place the template on the wall and not put a million holes in the wall, which I have a tendency to do. I laid out the brown paper and taped it down and now I'm gonna trace each print on the brown paper. I probably won't fit all of the prints on this one piece, so I cut another piece and I will trace out each one and have a template for each print, and I just used this brown, plain brown gift wrap that you can buy at Dollarama. It was really cheap, just a couple dollars for that. So that is what I used to trace and make the templates. So now I'm gonna trace each one of the prints and then I'm gonna put them on the wall. sitting right in the center of the bed and I'm pretty pleased with the placement of the templates. But I did find another piece 
that I want to incorporate into the gallery wall is this beautiful brass piece. So I would like to incorporate that. So I may make a couple adjustments and see if it'll work. And if not, then I will put it somewhere else in our bedroom. I was able to make some adjustments and I'm gonna put the brass piece right here. So I made a template and moved this one up and made a couple little adjustments here, just moved them around a little bit. So now I'm ready to put the nails in the wall. So I have to mark on the template where the nail is going to go. So some of the pictures, the nail might go down here. Some of them, they might go up here. So I have to look at the back of each picture and measure and then put exactly where the nail hole is going to go. And then I can put the nail in and remove the template and hang the pictures. I think the gallery wall turned out quite nice. Everything came together nicely. I added this picture here on the end and it fits in there nicely. And I have space now if I wanna add a few more smaller pieces. And I put up a mirror that I thrifted not that long ago and a beautiful wooden cross with a shell inlay. And then I put up my rack over here in the corner with my vintage purses and a few of my hats. And I'll go over there and give you a closer look at that. mind the squeaky floors. It works quite nicely for some of my vintage purse collection and a few hats. And now I can display them instead of storing them away in a closet. At least I can have them out and I can look at them and see how beautiful they are. I've got a few of my favorites, a Whiting and Davis, and this one is a Whiting and Davis as well. This one's got a beautiful silver hardware. And of course my favorite tooled leather purses and just a Lucite beaded purse, little beaded handbag. And these ones are kind of a Whiting and Davis look to them but they are more modern. I believe they are vintage, but not, not super old. And then just a sparkly fun silver one. So they look pretty fun over here in the corner. And I'm quite pleased with how it all came together and turned out. It was a successful day. I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. It started off early this morning and it is now dark. I don't even know what time it is, but it is dark. And I am ready to put my feet up and relax and probably edit this video. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.